This is a review of Stillness is the Key by Ryan Holiday. You can put this book as a cool, calm, collected philosophy book. Stillness, enlightenment, solitude, the void, being empty, stoicism, virtuous like a virtuous troll. And how can we live in this quiet and noisy world by simply being chill? Netflix and chill is bad, since you always gotta be doing something. Notifications never have those on. Some of the YouTubers may ask you to turn on the notifications so you never miss a beat. However, be open and free. One ear out the other doesn't work. And how does a typical young person put themselves on an information diet? There's negative news, gossip. There's opportunity lost with junk. Don't do rush jobs. And this is a book about combination or combo. East meets West. If the ego is the enemy, then the obstacle's away. And check out Ryan's other books about stoicism. And in this book, he especially puts the East into action. And how do we combat the hustler culture? Overworking, hustling on 24 hours, Twitch streams going on forever. We need to sleep and relax. There are plenty of stories in this book, even trolls Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan, and mentions Churchill. Here's the best quote from Dorothy Day in the book. Dorothy Day, the Catholic nun and social activist, admonished herself much the same. Turn off your radio, she wrote. Put away your daily paper. Read one review of events and spend time reading. And then Ryan Holiday says, Books. Spend time reading books. That's what she meant. Books full of wisdom. Not so much wisdom, but stories. There's so much junk out there. Here's some general tips. Seek wisdom. Enjoy solitude. Rest, sleep, walk. Take action. Chill. Be loose and smooth. Go out into nature, which will be good for your spiritual growth and mental issues. The mind, body, and spirit are connected. Slow like an elephant. And he did mention Musashi. Not so much the void. In much of the combination of yin and yang. Roughness and elegance. There's virtues, game, chill and take risks. Create routines and healthy rituals. Taking risks, action, chill and repeat. Not just noise. Mindless noise. This book is a very well designed book and has unexpected subjects. There's the chillax lotus and letting go metaphors and tons of cool stories. Move fast, but slow down in the zone. Whereas Facebook would say, move fast and break things. In contrast to this, I would read Shallows, which I've done a review, Tao Te Ching, and Musashi books. Read, go outside, and enjoy the great outdoors. Those will be more adequate than Instagram stories and Snapchat stories. Reading tweets, ads, ads on YouTube and Twitch now. Block them and just pay if you have to. They're not real stories. They're a waste of time. Pure junk. Check out my other Ryan Holiday review, Ego is the Enemy. His best book is Trust Me, I'm Lying book, which I'll eventually do a review of. Have a silencer. That is a true pathway to freedom. Discipline is freedom. And he does mention Jocko Willink in this book. Thanks for listening. <laughs>